afternoon collective. Um, it feels like there's something specific coming through. Someone, someone, a group of someone's. I kind of wanted to pull the general feel of the energy, but that sort of just came out. And I actually don't think that there is, it doesn't feel like there is much of a different message compared to yesterday of the energies coming to balance. There's a lot of dark souling, dark night of the soul <laughs> happening right now, <clears throat> certainly. And um, I am gently emerging from that energy, but I can still feel it. It's, uh, it's still there. I just sat down and felt a little uninspired at first, just thinking, oh, maybe there's really nothing. I'm just going, I'm kind of bored. But then that sensation shifted into someone really contemplating something, over contemplating it, to the point that they feel stuck, really wanting to speak, something they desperately want to share, a confession. I want to confess everything. I'm, I'm just going to go with this. I'm hearing someone speaking in the first person. And I just reach for this deck without thinking about it, so this is the one. Never think about it, just feel about it. I want to give to this. I'm afraid to tell you how much I've been thinking about this. I don't want that to scare you, because it scares me a bit. But I really want to work with this. There's something here. There's, yeah, there's some real nervousness attached. Someone who has been looking at this very hard. They've been trying to distract themselves from it, but it's not working. The more that distraction energy continues, the more they're driven back to this. Something, someone, yeah, they desperate, there's a desperate need to speak this. It's part of bringing their self into balance, but also a balancing between parties. There is a split to this energy. One half of it is the conversation of I don't want to do this anymore because this is what I do want to do. I want to build this with, I was about to say, someone else with the Empress. I want this new beginning. I want to put an end to this distraction. This feels like the masculine collective in general, but also I'm hearing this in the first person. I can't stop thinking about you. Wanting to build with the Empress, wanting to move towards this. A little bit guilty feeling about how long this has been looked at. About how much they've tried not to think about it and can't stop. That's just shadow making us feel shame. When really it's just love, that's what an energetic connection is. The universe won't let you stop thinking about this because energetically it's attracted. The law of attraction won't let it go. There's nothing to feel bad about or ashamed or guilty. That is a self-limiting belief that will be released in the moving towards this. In the moving towards this.
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Breaking out of the box. This is driven by the soul for the purpose of expansion and balancing and happiness. <laughs> Hang the man underneath. I mean, this is... Everything that comes through me is attached in some way to me, is relatable. Because I resonate. That's how it works. And yeah, there's Aquarius, someone wanting to give to this. Wanting to put an end to the back and forth. To the lack of clarity, wanting to be very clear. This is the dream. This is what I desire. I want to put my whole heart and soul into this. I want to give this a go. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't. And that's enough to tell me this is worthwhile. That's really beautiful. A lot of this feels like it's happening in the 5D, but that is trickling down with that Queen of Swords. There is clarity happening in the mind. This Mercury retrograde is profoundly reflective. And while it is a challenge to communicate, to actually speak these thoughts, they're felt on a deep level, on the soul level. And there is the sense, the seance, oh, seance. <laughs> There's the sense. Okay, two of pentacles, yeah, that, um, the words just don't want to come out. But it's actually assisting in the feeling of the feelings because they're unable to be thought about the same way. The mind is pulled back, in essence. There is a little bit of back and forth, yeah, there is a deep connection here. This is a part of counterparts being called together. I am involved in this for the balance of energies. A lot of people making choices right now. A decision to end one thing, to move towards another thing, towards the Empress. Thank you, spirit, the hermit. Wow, yeah. The soul is wide awake and the mind is struggling, but it's allowing these emotions to be felt in a powerful, powerful way. There's still this desire to understand them, but the growing realization that the understanding is really not necessary. It doesn't change the feeling. The feeling is informing the rest of this. That's where it starts. The heart and the soul are wide awake and working together. The mind is in the back seat. It's trying to be a backseat driver a little bit, but I just got the image of the limousine with the window rolling up. <laughs> no, you're not gonna, not this time. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. That's all you gotta do. Just enjoy it. Earlier I was hearing the songs. I can't fight this feeling anymore. I forgot it what I started fighting for. That one. ESP wagon or something, and then, uh, oh, 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 it's magic, you know, never believe it's not so. So, there you have it, Wheel of Fortune, this is changing, which, that's fascinating because Five of Swords just came out in reverse. Um, It actually feels, it feels like someone who has been doubting themselves. 
worried that moving towards this is a mistake because of the powerful impulse of this. It moves back to that practicality, to the misunderstanding of what is practical. It's not what's logical. That's not what that word means. It's not even in the definition of it. <laughs> Practical action has nothing to do with what is logical or accepted by society. It just means it's it's physical. It's actually of the doing of the thing. It should be putting into practice the intuition. And that is what is being realized. That's what this energy is helping with. Because the mind is being shut down a little bit, the logic isn't so loud. There's still that fear of, gosh, this impulse is so strong and this is so sudden and fast. And my old definition of what is practical, what is logical, what is socially acceptable or suggested would say that that means it's a mistake. But my heart, my soul says otherwise. Everything is driving me to this. Why else would I feel so strongly about this? Not be able to stop thinking about it even and again this phrase comes to mind that yesterday it is no sign of health to be well adjusted in a profoundly sick society absolutely true a realization of that I don't know why I want to see yeah I wanted to see the top card eight of cups the realization of that everything we've been telling ourselves is healthy <laughs> it's not happy how could it be healthy if it's making us miserable all of these self-limiting beliefs love limiting life limiting that's just diminishment that's just shadow trying to trick you this is being revealed this is what we're meant to feel. We're meant to feel this powerful impulse that transcends 3D comprehension and logic. It's something we can't stop thinking about because of how much we want it, because it's an energetic attraction. That's how the law of attraction works. It won't let those thoughts leave your head because they're like components. <laughs> You're being drawn to this. You're being asked, pulled by your soul to move towards this. There is a lot of course correction taking place this month. It is a month of destiny for everyone. It doesn't matter where you are on your spiritual journey. Everyone is being pulled towards their soul's true path and purpose, which ultimately is happiness. Look at that. There's a lot of energy in these cards. This is the universe manifesting through us, with us, creating these connections, drawing them together energetically. mind is going round and round, but the soul is wide awake, and it is driving this bus. The heart and soul are one and the same. The heart is the seat of the soul. What is coming out? I'm taking it because it's victory. Six of wands in the universe position. This is what's coming. This is what's driving everything. This comes to balance, look at that, at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> this is coming to balance. I feel like the Masculine Collective wants to share that too. We're making these decisions. We're moving towards you, Empress. Collectively, individually. All I know is I want to give to this. Why do I want to see that top card? Yeah, that's communication. Swift. 
powerful desire for it. I do not do any kind of timeline predictions. Energy is timeless. This will continue to play out for several months. But the universe is saying it's it's a done deal. <laughs> One way or the other, start rejoicing. Start rejoicing right now. It's it's already happened energetically. The 3D trickle down effect. It will pick up speed. The universe is pushing for this harder and harder and harder. Why? Because we are. Because we have asked for this. The soul is awake. It wants to come into balance. It wants these counterpart connections. The earth wants this. It's divine justice. Everything is flowing this direction. Everything. Okay. Wow, everything is flowing. I can't hold on to the cards. That wanted to come out. Ooh. Yeah, that's not going to make a difference. <laughs> it's not going to make a difference. It's the defeat of that. That's the purpose of this whole dark night that's being released. Why am I still shuffling? I don't need to be shuffling. For some reason I want another card, but I'm just gonna... That is really interesting. This coming out directly... I just watched a Steve's Love <laughs> Tarot reading that was about the devil trying to get into the soul, but it can't. First of all, it, it, it can't. It doesn't exist there. It only exists in the mind. That's the only place that energy actually can manifest shadow through the perception. The heart, there is no fear there. There's no devil energy. It's only when we think about feelings instead of just feeling them that in the thinking that that illusion comes in, which is right there. But yeah, this is this is being put to an end. We're gaining that new perspective. We're coming to the end of this. This feels like the ending of that dark night of the soul phase. The choice is becoming clear. It's an end to confusion. Obstacles being removed. Uh, new beginnings. Hmm. Uh, I, want to, I want to clarify with the tiny, teeny, tiny witches. I've waited a long time for this. I'm aware. I've held back at the bottom. Four of Pentacles. I've been afraid. I was asleep. But all of that is shifting. It's becoming clear. What was short-sighted was not giving to this in the first place. But I'm also understanding it couldn't happen then. This has all been a part of the path. But I'm feeling this is where the path is leading me now, to giving to this. To giving to this connection. It's all been a part of shadow work. I get that profoundly from these cards together. But that is finished. That is coming to a close. I am experiencing this rebirth and I want to share it with you. I want to balance with you. I want to stop holding back from that. Look at that. Six of Wands directly underneath. I want this victory. I don't want to hold this back from myself. Celebration with you. Release of that third party being fear. Yeah. Eight of Wands. 
I want this. I want to move towards this. Oh, <laughs> King of Cups with the tower popping out underneath. That king is getting up. He's getting up. He knows there's there's just no option. There's no other choice anymore. Everything else is, again, that sensation of the wall pushing, <laughs> pushing in. The tide is coming in. And it's it's go time. I like the wall image because it's not the option of this or unhappiness. It's no, there is no other option. <laughs> it's it's not jump or be crushed. It's you have nowhere else to go. You're just gonna be pushed off of this cliff. That's it. You you're jumping. <laughs> you're getting up, and you're bringing the cup. And this is, I mean, it's urgency. We want this. Yeah, there's five of cups underneath. Everything else is just pales in comparison. This is all we want. What we want is to follow this impulse. To follow our heart. To feel the flowing of that emotion. To take that action. To put into practice. That is practical application. These connections are the practical thing. They are profoundly deep. And we've been hiding from them for a long time. I know I ran from this. I was afraid. And I see that now it's pushed me to face those fears, to release them, to actually feel things I never let myself feel. And I'm profoundly grateful for that. I am profoundly grateful for that. Look at that. To feel deep emotions for the purpose of bringing myself into balance. This is the card of the Balanced Emperor. The Divine Masculine Collective is experiencing this. But again, it's taking place within every individual. We all have Emperor and Empress within. This is a collective dark night, these things coming to the surface, so that they can be felt, just that, felt, expressed, and released. In order to be freed, you must feel it. But that's it. That's all that's necessary. There is nothing else required, nothing added. Just the feeling. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. There is a decision choice is more and more clear. We want victory. We're going after it. Why is this two of pentacles here? Okay, that's a lot of cards. Um, <laughs> three of them fall out face down, and the one that falls out face up is two of pentacles. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, I, it's just... I know I have to make this choice. And I know the choice is moving towards you. Is moving towards this. Not doing it is is what's making me anxious, actually. It's not even so much contemplating this, it's just not not taking the action. I've been thinking about this for a long time. And that's another thing I sort of feel guilty about. Why, why is this other two of pentacles here? How much I've thought about this and haven't told you. Acted like it didn't matter. Acted like I didn't care. Why is this two of pentacles here? Or just that I cared less than I, I really did. Um, two of pentacles. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Acting acting like I didn't care when I really did. I cared a lot. Look at that. He kind of he came out in reverse. It's not really relevant. The energy is what matters. The cards are just additional. I was afraid. I, I mean, I was terrified. I thought so hard about this. I tried to apply so much logic to it. 
and ultimately I'm realizing I've just been guarded. That's the only reason. I just was afraid. I was afraid of what this meant. Everything changing. Afraid of giving and receiving truly for the first time in a balanced way for the first time. I've never experienced that. But I'm seeing now the choice is clear. I want to move towards this. You're shitting me. King and Queen of Cups together with the Eight of Pentacles from the pre shuffle underneath. <laughs> I want, this is counterparts coming together. I want to move towards this. This is what I want this love, this connection. Why is the hermit here? Leading the way. Why is the hermit here? Something about this full moon coming up to Cancer. Feels like it's gonna unlock a lot of things. Why is the hermit here? Letting love light the way. Feeling things in a deeply spiritual way that a lot of people haven't experienced before. Why is the hermit here? Some of that is what's so scary too. The mind trying to say, no, nah, this, this doesn't make sense. You can't feel this connected to someone you've you barely know or you've never physically met or you've known for this period of time or just in general. The soul is overriding all of that. All of that fear, that illusion. Why is the hermit here? Oh, thank you, spirit. Yep. Um, the soul is overriding all of that, all of that anxiety. Six of Wands, again, which is leading directly into the devil creating this, this loop of the devil's trying to get in, but it can't. It just, this is too strong. This, it feels better to move towards this than the... The safety, I'm, I'm realizing there is no safety, there is no pleasure in not moving towards this, in staying back, in staying safe. It doesn't feel safe anymore. It just feels wrong. It feels painful. That's what feels like the mistake. All of that is shifting. Yeah. Yeah, tired of being guarded against this. Look at this. The devil is trying, but it can't get in. Not to these connections. Look at how bright that cup is shining. There is nothing that can stop this. Shining, revealing that light directly onto the shadow, onto the illusion of being guarded against this, making us realize that's what's creating the heartache. <laughs> the boundary is the burden. The guardedness against this is the illusion, is what's keeping us stagnant and afraid. Total clarity coming in this regard. Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles. This is what I want. I see this clearly now. Aquarian energy helping out a lot with this. And look at that, the lovers underneath. Yeah. Why is this Five of Swords here? Five of Swords. Why is this? Unhealthy Enterprise? 
That's an interesting phrase. An end to unhealthy enterprise. <laughs> five of swords. Why is this five of swords here? Just got the image of someone like selling a business, even of like all of all of this. I'm done. I don't want any of this anymore. I want a complete change. Five of Swords. I'm done living in the shadows. In my own shadow. All I care about is you. The lovers. All I care about is you. Even if you don't accept me. All I care about is moving towards this. There's that fear. Being released. Wow. Judgment. Karma in this deck. These are the endings of ancient karmic cycles. That is what is happening with all of this energy. We are closing out karma for good. The end of suffering. No more karmic cycles. Higher, ascended, meaningful, healing, transformative connections where nothing is left out. Stimulating at every level. Because they are energetically based, the energy informs the rest. Perfectly matched. This is being brought by the universe. Yeah. Pulling th this back wand that has been holding us back from taking this bold action, it's disintegrating. It's turning to ash. There's nothing left to hold on to. It is only forward motion. It is only giving to this. And yes, there's nervousness, but there is so much love here. And such a passionate desire to communicate this. Just to speak it. Just to share it. Why is the lovers here? I can feel it. God. Oh, we want this so much. Why is the lovers here? It's that feeling of looking at somebody that you just adore. That deep soul connection, that wordless sensation, the feeling that just completely bypasses the mind, anything else, it's, it's all encompassing and it emanates directly from the heart. Oh, why is the lovers here? Eyes of lovers here. Eyes of lovers here. It's everything I've ever wanted and more. More than I even knew that I wanted. It took me by surprise. And I can't deny it. I won't deny it. Not anymore. Thank you, spirit. Tower at the bottom. I can't deny it. All I want is to move towards this. Just the moving towards this is such a powerful feeling. Nothing is going to stop me. This is like that tidal wave pushing this boat. The underwater explosion. And it doesn't matter what direction you were going before. Now it's towards this. And there's that feeling, that realization suddenly that just in moving towards it 
you're feeling more and more yourself. More and more confident, more and more happy. More and more in the moment. Healing just by feeling this, just by experiencing in that sensation of gratitude. Oh God, it's powerful. I feel it. I personally feel it too. In this connection that I am experiencing. Feeling of gratitude for just experiencing it. That even if nothing else happens, just God, I'm grateful for this. Grateful to have met you. I've met this person, this empress, this counterpart, just to know this to know that this exists, that you exist. That's enough. Queen of Pentacles on top. Hope renewed. Belief. Yeah. Hope renewed. I really want to build with this. Still getting that. Again, this is coming through. This is resonant energy to me. At this point, I feel I am equal parts divine, masculine, and feminine. Truly. <laughs> I feel like it it shifts organically within myself. I can really, I can resonate with both sides of this fully, personally. Why is the Six of Wands here? Oh, an end of anxiety. An end of anxiety. The end. Done. No more. Never again. We're finished with that. It's being released as something which no longer serves the self. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? Once these things come to balance, once these counterparts come together, it is an irreversible effect, reaction. The energy shifts in a way that changes forevermore. Knight of Cups at the bottom. Queen of Wands. Magnetic attraction. This is not flippy floppy, wishy washy. Although it is red with the Two of Pentacles here, this it could be read that way. I am not feeling it that way. This is what was. This was, we've already established with the King of Wands up here in reverse on the Two of Pentacles. There was fear that kept us going in circles. This is magnetic attraction. This is balanced. This is red in the universe position. The universe sees victory in this, in the balancing of these energies, which are attractive to one another at the highest level, balanced by natural order. They will not be stopped. Loving, beneficial, like it would, pops off the very top. Temperance, you don't get more balanced than that. This also automatically cancels out this energy. This is coming from the universe position. Yeah. At the bottom, Knight of Cups, crossed by the world, sandwiched with the Three of Cups with liberation underneath. I mean, it, holy new cycles, new connections, new relationships, a new way of relating to one another, universally, at every level, but specifically in love in loving partnerships, loving connections. 
working together and working with the universe again the spirit being the third party in this the soul the self two sovereign selves coming together to witness one another fully vulnerably divine justice bringing this liberation liberation from samsara from illusion from suffering enough of us again individually witnessing taking this path for ourselves achieving the enlightenment the place where we see liberation cannot be known without knowing the imprisonment and then we have the appreciation for it that transcends it and sets it free releases it we no longer have a need to experience the imprisonment it has served us for the purpose of discovering liberation. We have achieved this higher perspective of seeing this, and now it is released to be free. It is no longer serving self to be imprisonment, now let it be sublimed. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands. Deeply magnetic relationships. The universe celebrating the balance of this. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? Sure, she's ready to get jiggy with it. <laughs> It's, it's no more bullshit. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. <laughs> no more hiding from this. This is revealed. These are relationships taking place as two higher selves witnessing from the higher perspective. Yeah. Witnessing from the higher perspective, holding the frequency of unconditional love in themselves, balanced in their own emperor and empress energy, working together, honest, vulnerable. Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. The universe bringing wish fulfillment to all parties. High Priestess at the top. Man-made wise. It's the Aquarian Age taking place. It is the restoration of love to the rightful throne. Why is the devil here? Devil is cute for some reason. It's mighty cute. It's it's tiny. It's sweet. <laughs> it's, that's a weird. I mean, it is. It's. Why is the devil here? <laughs> I love that in this deck, it is depicted as a jackalope creature that does not actually exist. It's not real. It's an illusion itself. There is no devil. It can't get into any of this. Look at that clarification, that truth coming out. Oh, there is no fear. There is no imprisonment, not anymore. All of it is for the service of liberation, the service of joy, of upliftment. Let those things be released. Let them be sublimed. Why is the devil here? Devil's ready to get a new job. <laughs> to move on. Why is the devil here? To be happy. To be released. 
Size the double here. To be revealed, I just to serve the light, to serve the self for the realization of the self's own empowerment. Now that this is taking place, the devil is released. Why is the devil here? To be sublime. Be released for karmic contracts to end so that these real soulmate connections can come in. King of Swords again at the bottom. Two of Cups came out directly on top of the Devil. That light shining in. There's another light. <laughs> the Hermit, which is right here. The power of these connections is a revealing illusion. Is dispelling it. Wow. Moving towards this, all of these energies coming into balance means they're coming into a flow state. Where there is a flow state, there cannot be stagnation. Where there is not stagnation, there is no shadow. Everything is coming into motion together. Moving towards these connections, the healing of this is perpetual. Love is perpetual motion. It begets itself. It actually creates more love energy. All of this being revealed. When love is made with an individual, between two individuals who have the intention of it, of worshiping self within themselves and another, it actually creates more love energy, more unconditional love energy. It expands. It's ever expanding. Time to let this in. It's ever expanding. It's limitless. It's the experience of limitlessness. In the future, unconditional love will be the source of energy. Perpetual energy It will power everything. The future being what exists already in higher dimension, what is coming into our experience. An end to suffering. An end to suffering. Certain victory. By these connections coming together and swiftly, powerfully, magnetically. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna leave ourselves out of this deep soul connections delivered by the universe ain't gonna happen all we care about is working with this working towards this there's so much love here this is this is the only choice it's the only thing we care about all i want is this here all i want is you but it's in this, it's this new perspective, this freeing way that's not claiming, it's worshiping. It's deep. High Priestess at the top. Yeah. God, again. Just moving towards this is empowering. This is all I want. I believe in this. Not believing in it sucks and I don't care I just want to feel this 
I just want to move towards this. This feels like home. This feels like everything. This feels like long lost. Ooh. It's deep soul level. It's what I've been searching for through every lifetime. And it's right here. And I'm not letting anything stop me from that. Again, this gratitude of just knowing this connection, just meeting you, meeting this person, has changed everything in me. I believe in this now. I believe in true love, in deep soul connection, in the power, the transformative healing abilities of this. It is so profoundly balanced. It is so beautiful. It is breathtaking. And I will worship and treasure this for all eternity. But baby, I'm going to work for it. You better believe it. This is what I want. And I'm coming to claim it. Final words, final words from the universe. Split the deck on the three of wands. I'm coming to claim it. Everything else goes out the window. I don't care. I'm coming for this. I am coming for this. It's all I can think about. And I'm feeling less and less guilty about it, more and more driven, more and more sure that that means something deep. The way it makes me feel. Just that. It's worth it. Ended up at the bottom. Final message from the universe on this. Final words from the universe. What would you like to speak? speak. What would you like to speak? Get ready. I hear nine of pentacles. It's gonna knock your socks off. Nine of Pentacles. Holy smokes. Okay. Hang on. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, High Priestess, Eight of Cups fell out in reverse, but it's just. It's the relief of all suffering. It's going to knock your socks off. It's, it's going to, everything else goes out the window again at the bottom of the deck. These ships are coming in. It's at the top. Wait, do I have this upside down or is it? No, no. Four swords reversed, coming out of hiding. <laughs> coming out of that sanctuary, of that aloneness. The healing is finished. The healing alone is done. It's time to come together for these healing connections. The ships are coming in. The counterparts are coming together. This is the masculine collective wanting to speak this, I feel. We're on our way. We're no longer afraid of taking this journey. It's in, it's in motion. These connections. Balanced at every level. I am drawn to the water. In this deck, the Knight of Swords is in the water, is swimming in it. This is an emotional communication. It's deep. And the speaking of it again is liberating, but it's liberation for both parties. 
it also this has nine of cups energy attached to it just going for this dream this deep desire this thing that is all we can think about it's all we want to move towards and we're doing it ships are coming in. Communication is certain. Yeah, there, there's a lot of nervousness here still, but it's unstoppable. Page of Wands, Two of Wands. Again, it's just, I'm taking this leap. I want to work with this. I might not know how, but I've got to. I've just got to come towards it. All I want to do is make this offer driven by the Wheel of Fortune towards the Queen of Pentacles. I know how good this could be. I know this could be everything. I know this is everything, actually. It's more than that. It's more than it could be. These are connections witnessed by divine, by the highest level of source as belonging, belonging in the sense of natural order. These like components belong together, like positive and negative. They work together. Therefore, they belong. It's all coming in. Swiftly and by night. <laughs> you won't expect me. But I'll be there. I've always been there. Always. I never really left. Ooh. I've always been with you. I see that now. It's always been this. And I'm ready. I'm ready to give everything for it. Everything to it. Let's do this thing. Oh. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Ace of Wands. That's the message. I think that's really beautiful. I can feel the pride of this. I am proud. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the masculine collective taking this journey, reaching this place, this new precipice. They are ready. We are ready. Everything is prepared. It has been established. And now it is falling into place with swift, certainty, spontaneity, serendipity, all of this taking place. It is my honor to speak this, to express this, my delight, truly. Have a blessed afternoon, collective. I am excited for all of us. What wonder awaits in this year of divine. Blessed be. And as always, and in always, truly, truly, I love you. <laughs>